I think hell is officially frozen over. In all honesty, I have educated myself so much since 2016, and I have a ways to go. My political views have changed immensely, and they're changing at a rapid pace. I will not vote for Joe Biden. I do not support anybody from the squad. I think they're totally full of shit. I think they're dangerous. I think they're race hustlers. I think they're cons. I think inevitably they want to get themselves uh, a production deals to produce documentaries. I think they're, um, they're three card Monty playing bullshit artists. I think they totally have an agenda. Um, I have said, you know, not to go down the rabbit hole that at this point when we're doing this interview, voting for Trump is on the table. People are like, what are you talking about? That's my reality. That is my reality. I will not support anybody who's anti-Israel. I will not support anybody that is anti, uh, um, you know, making America safe. I'm not supporting anybody that is cool with the fact that it takes me two and a half hours to get back into America from Toronto uh, uh, at the, um, what the, what is it called? The passport at the- um, Passport control. The line to go from Toronto to New York, it takes me two and a half hours, as it should, but it takes you two minutes to cross the border. I'm not down with that shit. I'm not down with police officers in the greatest city on earth getting beaten up and uh, uh, you're a legal immigrant and then you have no bail. I'm not uh, down and with- And flipping off the camera. Flipping off the fucking camera like Chupac when he got arrested and he was coming out in the, in the, in the red Detroit what Red Wings t-shirt. I'm not down with going into a Costco or a 7-Eleven or a Rite Aid as I videotaped once and went crazy viral cleaning out the spot and walking like you're, you're on a, uh, you know, like a beautiful spring day walk. I'm not down with any of that shit. So any of these people that support it, I'm not, I'm not voting for this. Michael Rappaport, oh man. It just took one Biden presidency term for you to dismantle the truth about the Democratic Party, huh? Yeah, man, the truth hurts, but hey, we happy to see that you're at least coming to the light. You could tell that he wanna say that he's uh, being cured of his TDS, Trump derangement syndrome, but he don't want to say all that just yet. <laughs> but he admitted, obviously, that he's been educating himself a whole lot. That's why I say, man, hell is freezing over, dog. Cause hell. But of course, this doesn't come with just opening arms for him. You got people that's out there saying, you know, I don't know, man. Everybody know he was a paid Democrat. He was paid by the Democrats for sure. Not that he disagreed with what he was saying, but. Uh, you know, they can't deal with somebody who they know's morals are for sale. So you have that take, uh, you know, they saying dude is lying through his teeth. He's a grifter just like the rest of them. Same with The Rock. Um, so yeah, you got that, but you got other people who just thinking like me. Knowledge is power. I'm just saying, you know, once you know better, you do better. And some people, they know better and just choose not to do better. So, you know, those are the dangerous ones. Tell you one thing, though, he do got to, if he's on his redemption run right now, I wonder how many people he going to have to unblock. <laughs> as soon as I said it, my camera went out. <laughs> Dear God, what have we done? Mm. Oh, I'll tell you what we've done. We've spent time trying to decide what flavor ice cream we're going to get. Mm because they're 10,000 flavors. Right. We spend half our lives choosing, trying to make a choice on bullshit. What movie tonight? Let me sit here for a half hour. No bombs going off. And we do nothing. We sit on our couches. Oh, I don't believe in voting. You fucking idiot. Mm. If that man gets in, as soon as he takes the oath, he will have generals walk down the steps of the Capitol. He will take a hammer and break the glass where the Constitution is, and he will tear it up in our faces mm. and say, now, I'm the king of the fucking world. You will bow down, bitches. He will punish everybody that didn't vote for him. Let me tell y'all how I know this shit. I know it because I know what mental illness looks like. Mm. That mania 
is unstoppable. See, this motherfucker's Hitler. Mm. He didn't come to play. So, of course, as you can see, some people are coming to the light and some people are continuing to stay in the darkness. You know, the Trump derangement syndrome appears to be kicking it up a notch, uh, especially this year when it's the big 2024. This is actress Jennifer Lewis, and she's claiming that Trump will put minorities and groups uh, in camp, might put minority groups in camps and pretty much saying that he's the Hitler and all this other stuff. And I'm just sitting back kind of going like, hey, didn't we already have him in the office? Was he any of those things that you're claiming he's going to be? Not only that, she literally claimed that Trump is the one with the mental illness. Wow. This man is trying to uphold the Constitution and you're sitting out giving these frivolous talking points just because you don't like the man because they told you he was racist. You don't even know why you call him racist. Somebody put it. It's incredible how the Trump of their fever dreams and the Trump of reality are two entirely different people and have been since he came down the golden escalator. Yet they still pretend like he's Satan. <laughs> he's uh, Satan's incarnate. Uh, yeah, it's weird to see how this continues to be the narr narrative around Trump. Knowing dang well, bro, we had the man in office, dog. It was cool. And in fact, I regret not appreciating it, if I'm being honest. I ain't never heard of him being racist prior to running, the pr running for president. That's just me, though. I mean, because any two ways you look at it, the man won his presidency without the black vote. What he need it for? What he need us for? Tell me what he need me for. He don't need me. But for some reason, he always get up on that stage talking about how low black unemployment is. Because he legitimately cares. You never heard Obama get on stage talking about black unemployment. He couldn't. Because under his first two years with a Democratic Congress, it doubled. Black unemployment under Barack Obama doubled. How many of y'all know that? It doubled. It literally doubled. It went from 8% to 16%. How you get around that no media say nothing about that? But Donald Trump getting it to the lowest it's ever been recorded. Like I said, he don't need us. He does not need the black vote. The black vote didn't put him in office. The black vote ain't going to take him out of office. But the fact that he gets up there on them stages every chance he get and tells us how we are doing because we, I ain't going to say that, we too crazy to realize it ourselves. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got to do that. He ain't, he ain't got to get up there when he was running for president. He didn't have to get out there talking about, um, what do you have to lose? Vote for me. He didn't have to do that. But he did. And we grateful that he did. You know, it's some smart folks out there that happen to be darker skin like me. Mm -hmm. You just got to find them. See, a lot of them scared to say something because they scared somebody going to say something back to me. I'm a step. What's up? You got something to say about Donald Trump? What? I ain't got no MAGA hat. My damn head too damn big to be trying to wear a MAGA hat. So I can't wear no MAGA hat I know where. But I got a MAGA sweater in there that I wear. I wore it to work. Nobody said nothing. I'm a big old bitch. They better not say nothing. But hey, everybody's not so happy for Trump or <laughs> they're not so eager to get him back in office. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, they're infuriated. Are you kidding me, law enforcement? Are you kidding me? Tonight in Grand Rapids, multiple law enforcement officers stood behind Donald Trump as he spoke. People that are elected officials like sheriffs, others hired to protect and enforce the law for the entire citizenry, not for a political party, explicitly forbidden from being a partisan authoritarian police force standing on stage, entirely unethical, probably hey. illegal, on top of which Donald Trump has been indicted 91 times. He's liable for sexual assault. His entire business was found to be fraudulent. Breathe. And law enforcement has the fucking gall to stand on stage with him. Enough is enough. Hey, uh, somebody need to go do a welfare check on my guy right here. Uh. He might be a danger to himself and others. <laughs> that Trump derangement syndrome, that's real. a real thing. It's a real thing. 
And I think there's some people that are fragile already. The world is just like the anxiety and this and that. Right. And also this position of being the person of virtue, the angry, loud voice of reason. That's a weird banner to carry when you don't have your own shit together. When exactly. you, your own life is chaos. Your, your, your fucking mental health is very unsteady. And you're out there preaching and telling people what to do. And as you start losing... And, and Trump's the president now. And you're like, he's going to get arrested. He's going to get arrested. And he never gets arrested. Right. And then he's, they're going to take him off the ballot. Take him off the ballot. He's an insurrectionist. Nope. Supreme Court says unanimously. Right. No. Ah! It's yeah. like it just like it further compounds and you never get a win. You never right. get a win. You right. got a little bit of a win when Biden won and then the chaos after the Biden administration right. and all the things that we knew were true, that he was mentally compromised. All those things come out to be, and that's not a win. So then you're just in this constant state of like anxiety and chaos totally. and saying nonsense things. Like almost like he would want you to come after him because you could you came after him so hard. It was so funny when you showed like all your medals and all your shit. Like the fuck are you talking about? Oh, just wait until we hear and see this happen again. Okay, Trump is now president of the United States. President Obama. What a great honor address. to be able to introduce for the first time ever anywhere the 45th president of the United States of America, Donald Trump. Yeah. 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 I am so sorry <laughs> to my world. I am so sorry to my world. This is not what we want. We will face challenges. There's so much potential. But um, we will get the job done. For beauty and for devastation. In this one moment, it's to almost incomprehensible that they can exist right now. So. And we are grateful. So close. Ironically enough, I'll be actually saying the same thing, but huh, it'll be the in the opposite of the context in which you intended it to be. <laughs> Literally for me, because bro, I can see this moment coming. The real crisis here is mental health. I'm gonna just keep it real, man. We gotta, y'all gotta work on strengthening y'all relationship with God, cause bro, <laughs> whoa. It, we see the demons come out when y'all have a decision y'all don't like. And for the actress Jennifer Lewis, uh, who said that she knows what mental illness looks like, I would like to say, you know, go get another prescription. Your yeah, eye doctor been lying to you. <laughs> Just stop with all the grifting, all right? If he was going to put us in camps, why didn't he do it for the four years that he was already president? Huh? And the irony is like, do you even realize that everything that you're saying is literally what Biden is doing? <laughs> literally, the only reason she knows what's crazy looked like is because, you know what I mean, that mirror, she got bad by it. <laughs> it's like a child throwing a tantrum, man. It's quite satisfying to watch. I'm not going to lie. We, the meltdowns, bro, <laughs> it'd be like, dog. Also, just then, Hollywood is changing iconic logos as Trump derangement syndrome reaches epic proportions. <laughs> Shout to TSH2 underscore for posting this. I tell you one thing, though. Know, the right people are definitely afraid. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, if you ain't do nothing wrong, then there's nothing to fear. He's not going to be a President Donald Trump. Donald Trump will not become president. He is not, Donald Trump is not going to be president of the United States. Take it to the bank. Okay. I guarantee it. All right. I think that man will be president of the United States right about the time that spaceships come down filled with dinosaurs and red capes. Donald Trump has been saying that he will run for president as a Republican, which is surprising since I just assumed he was running as a joke. <laughs> Donald Trump, just last week, he confirmed to the National Review that he is again considering a run in 2016. Do it. Do it. Look, look at me. Do it. I will personally write you a campaign check now. 
on behalf of this country, which does not want you to be president, but which badly wants you to run. I continue to believe Mr. Trump, Trump will not be president. Mr. Trump, Trump will not be president. He will never be president of the United States. And uh, we better be ready for the fact that he might be leading the Republican ticket next. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't believe that, but I want to go on. <laughs> to write it down. Sorry, Sorry to next. Okay, here we are. And which Republican candidate <clears throat> has the best chance of winning the general election? Of the declared ones right now, Donald Trump. And so, right now, Mr. Trump, to answer your call for political honesty, I just want to say, you're not going to be president. There is zero chance we'll be seeing you being sworn in on the Capitol steps with your hand on a giant golden Bible. Donald Trump will never, ever be president okay. of the United States. Got Donald Trump will never be elected president of the United States. Donald Trump is a here today, going tomorrow candidate for president of the United States. Donald Trump is not going to be president of the United States. Uh, ever respectful of the fact that the people have not voted, he's not going to be president of the United States. Let's so I'm going to just sit back, grab my popcorn, and I'll say, hey, cue the meltdowns, because Trump, he coming back.